I'm Kat and this bracelet tutorial is how to do this paw print pattern friendship bracelet. It is pattern 22516 on friendshipbracelets.net and it looks like that. It does have quite a few steps. This bracelet has 12 steps. It's a 1-2 pattern and it does have backward forward and forward backward knots so if you haven't gotten the hang of those I recommend that you go check out my video on the four types of knots first and practice doing a couple chevron bracelets before you jump into this one. I am going to cut two of my yellow strings to 65 inches and then I'm going to fold them over in half and use that as the guide to cut another single string that is half that length. And I will do the same for, I'm going to be using this blue as the darker color and I will cut one string to 65 inches and then use that as the guide to cut a single one, again half that length. So I've got the strings that I've folded over and I'm just going to tie those in a knot and be sure to include my other random strings in that to hold everything together. And now I'll just clip that down and arrange my strings. So now I've arranged my strings in the same order that they are in the pattern. I've got light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, and then two light at the end. And I'm ready to get started. So starting on the left, working from left to right, I'm gonna grab my first two strings. And this is a one-two pattern, but we're gonna start with the first two in. And I'm going to do a forward-backward knot. If you don't know how to do the four types of knots, make sure you go and check out my video on how to do that before you get started. It actually gets really old answering questions on what a forward-backward knot is. Grab the next two strings, that's these two, and do another forward-backward knot. Everything should still be in that order. Grab the next two, another forward-backward. Then grab the last two and do a forward knot. I'm sorry, my arm gets in the way every time I do a forward knot. That's what this business is. Actually, I kind of feel like I burned my arm. All right, so for the next row, row number two, you're gonna take out your outside strings, because again, this is a one-two pattern, and then you'll pair off your strings in the correct order. So it should look something like that. And starting with the first two on the left, you're going to do a backward forward knot. Then grab the next two, do another backward forward. Oops, that one flipped over. And with the last two, another backward forward. All right, so for row number three, you're gonna bring in those outer strings, pair everything off again, just like that. And working from left to right, do a forward, backward knot. Then with the next two, backward, forward, which would put the blue string on top. Give it a blue knot. Then another backward, forward. Then with the last two, a backward knot. Right, it's actually getting a little bit bright in here. There we go. 
So on to row four. Again, you're gonna take out your outer strings. And let me just zoom in so you can see this. Unfortunately, every time I zoom in, people are like, how many strings are you using? And they're not individual strings, it's just that the embroidery floss looks like several little strings. All right, I like zooming it in, and please don't ask me how many strings I'm using. Obviously, obviously, you can see them here. This, this is one string. I know it looks like individual ones, but it's just because I'm zoomed in. I promise. I promise. Holy cow. All right, so for the fourth row, your outer strings go out. Everything gets paired off again, like that. And you are going to do a backward forward knot. That's yellow over the blue string. Then with the next two, another backward forward. And with the next two, backward. That's what it's looking like so far. For the fifth row, you'll bring in your outside strings again. Pair them off like that. Then you'll do a backward forward. Then a forward backward. With the two yellow strings, do a forward knot. Flipped over. So I'm just gonna tug on that. There we go. And with the last two, a forward backward. This is the sixth row now, so the outer strings are gonna go back out, pair everything off. With the first ones, you're gonna do a backward forward. The next two, a forward backward. And with the next two, a forward. Now for row seven, bring in your outer strings and pair everything off. First two, do a forward backward. Then a backward forward. Another backward forward.
and for the last one a forward. You know, it always looks a little bit goofy at the beginning, but it's starting to form. For the eighth row, take out your outer strings and pair everything off. Do a forward backward. Another forward backward. And one more forward backward. For the ninth row, bring in your outer strings, pair everything off. For the first knot, do a forward backward. Then a backward forward. Another backward forward. And last, do a forward knot. And that's what it's looking like so far. For the tenth row, take out the outer strings, pair everything off. Do a backward forward. Another backward forward. And one more backward forward. Bring in the outer strings, pair everything off. This is the 11th row. Do a forward backward. Another forward backward. Another forward backward. And for the last knot, a forward. Now for the twelfth and final row, take out the outer strings, pair everything off. For the first knot, do a backward forward. Then another backward forward. And one more backward forward. And that is the end of the pattern. So from this point, you would just start over at the very first step. That first step includes all of the strings and I don't expect you to completely remember everything we just did so 
From this point, you should just rewind the video and start over from the first step and just keep rewinding it and rewatching it until you finish your bracelet and it's as long as you need it. When your bracelet is as long as you want it, tie off the end and then finish it off with some braids. Tie off the ends of the braids and trim the excess. And that is your finished bracelet.